Hey guys, my name's Chanel with 3 A's here on YouTube, 1 A in real life, and welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make the perfect fall nails um, for Thanksgiving or whatever the occasion. I'm going to start with the full cover nails that you just saw. I'm going to put everything, um, the links to everything that I bought in the description box below. I'm using these little sticky tabs so that I can attach my nails to um, these little pegs that I bought to hold the nails while I design them. These are the pegs that I was talking about. So I got these from Amazon. They come with six of each color. Um, you only need five, but it comes with an extra one. And then it comes with this little jewel thing to hold the stand, but I don't usually use that. I just stick them onto the metal container that they came in. The nail polish that I'm using is the Beatles Gel Polish off of Amazon. Um, it's cheap and it works really good. This is the top coat that I got also from Amazon. Same thing, it works really good. And then I bought this set of D&D Base Gel and Top Gel. I'm only going to use the Top Gel for this. I don't really need the base. So I'm going to start off by um, measuring out my nails. So I'm going to do two sets. Um, so I'm going to use four nails of each size. For my thumbs, I use the zero. It works really good. As you can see, it um, it fit from one side wall to the other side wall. So I'm gonna take out four number zero so that I can make my two sets of nails. Now, as you can see, these nails are pretty thick um, and they have a pretty good C curve if you're gonna use them full length. Um, and then they're straight, they go straight across, they don't curve off um, on the bottom or anything like that. So they're really good nails, they're really good quality, and they are pretty thick. Now you want to make sure that when you're measuring your nails that you're trying them on both hands. My right hand, my right first fingernail is a lot bigger, it's like two sizes bigger than my left first fingernail. So I'm actually measuring the nail, you can't really see the number I'm using, I believe I'm using a number four. But um, I'm actually measuring the nails on each hand just to make sure that they're the same size for each hand and if they're not then I'm adjusting and I'm getting the right size. That way they're more personalized to my hands and they don't look too, too artificial and fake. They can look a little more like acrylics. So now I have all of my nails sized up. I have four of each size, except for um, for my first fingernails, I have two of each size because my first fingers are different sizes. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and start filing up for my first set of nails. With the first set, I'm gonna leave them the length that they are. I'm only gonna file the free edge a little bit because there's a little bit of a tag there, and then I also am just gonna perfect the shape a little bit on the um, on the first set. But I'm gonna leave them in this coffin style um, and at the length that they came in originally. So another tip that I have for personalization is um, the shape of your cuticle. So in the cuticle area, um, even if you push back the cuticle on my first finger, it will always curve up to the side. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it, but on the inside of the nail, it curves up. Um, so what I did was for my first finger nails, I always like to go ahead and adjust and make that curve on the false nail so that when I sit it on my nail I'm not trying to push the cuticle back it's not looking forced or anything like that and again it looks more like how I would lay acrylic on that nail um, so that's just another personalization tip I also do this sometimes for um, my ring fingers because the cuticle on my ring fingers are a little more rounded but most of my nails can fit with the squared off type of um, cuticle edge that they have already on the false nails.
So now I'm going to take some sticky tabs and I'm going to attach them to my little stand holder thingies. Um, for my left hand I do the white stands and for my black hand I do the right stands. Wait what? For my, uh, <laughs> oh my god, for my left hand I use the white stands and for my right hand I use the black stands. I hope I said that right. I don't know. I don't know what I said but um, yeah. So I'm just going to attach all the little sticky tabs to the stands and then I'm going to put the nails onto um, the sticky tabs. For the design on this set of nails, I'm going to use this um, this gold sparkly clear polish. It's color 295 um, from the Beatles little set that I got. And I'm going to put this on the um, ring fingers. And then for all of my other fingers, I'm just going to paint them a solid brown color. So as you're watching, you're gonna notice that I'm pulled, um, huh. as you're watching, you're gonna notice that I'm painting in both directions to the free edge. Um, that is just to reduce any lifting, and I also didn't use the base coat like I mentioned earlier. I'm just painting directly on top of the um, artificial nail, and I'm painting, like I said, in both directions to the free edge to prevent any lifting or any peeling or anything like that of the color. Okay, so after I paint them the first time, I put them underneath the lamp for about 90 seconds to make sure that they're all the way dry, and then I do a, a second coat, and then I put them underneath the lamp again for 90 seconds to dry them, and then I move on to the top coat. So for the ring finger, I'm going to do the um, the regular top coat, not the matte top coat, but just the regular glossy top coat from D&D. &D. And then um, the idea for my ring, not my ring finger, my middle finger, was to do them matte and then on the corner of them stripe the glossy. Um, so I did that originally and then I didn't like the way that it looked, so I ended up reversing it. Um, and I did the whole nail glossy and then I did a striped corner matte and you guys will see that in um, the next couple of clips. A trick that I learned if you don't like the way that the matte top coat came out and you want it more matte is to buff it with a little buffer block and then wipe it off with rubbing alcohol. Um, 
you don't have to do this because this matte top coat that I have is actually pretty good but I just did it anyway just to show you guys the tip in case you do have a matte top coat and it's not as matte as you like it to be you can just buff the top of the nail and then um, use the rubbing alcohol but you want to make sure that you buff thoroughly so that you don't leave any scratches um, you don't want to do this on the regular clear polish gel because it's clear like why would you want to buff away the shine that you put on there um so yeah it's, it's just a good little trick for to make your mat more matte and here you can see the difference between the one that i just took out of the um light and then the one next to it that's attached to the tin that i already buffed out and put rubbing alcohol on Now this is what the set looked like originally, and then this is what the set looked like um, after I switched it and made the middle finger all glossy with the edge um, matted out. And then that is it. Um, that is it for this set of nails. I'm going to go ahead and pop these off and get ready for my second set. So um, for the second set of nails, I put these on my fingers because I wanted to cut them down to size and then um, I wanted to turn them into an almond shape. So what I did was I went ahead and put the nails, um, not put the nails, but I went ahead and cut the nails on the side so that I could create the almond shape a little easier. So after I filed the nails down, this is kind of what I came out with. Um, I did fix the middle finger to be a little more pointy, but this is what I came out with. And then for the other hand, um, I just kind of used these nails as a guide while they were on the stands. I didn't put the nails on my hand just to cut them and shape them and everything like that. So that was really easy. Um, here's what they look like all completed and sized up and ready to go. For the pinkies, I'm using the same color brown that I used um, before on my other set, so the color 300. Next up is the color 220, and I'm putting this on the ring fingers. The middle fingers are going to be color 298. My first fingers will be 297 and then for my thumb I'm gonna go back to that burgundy color I believe it was 298 no what was the burgundy color I don't remember but I'm going back to the burgundy color for my thumbs now these are gonna be all shiny and I'm going to add some stones to the cuticle area um, and I'm just going to put the stones on while the top coat is still wet and then I'll go in and cure them um, so that they can stick onto the nail. And I did uh, do a second coat of all these colors as well, the same way that I did the second coat with my first set of nails. Um, I went back with the same colors after they cured the first time, did a second coat, and now I'm working on the top coat and the stones.
The pinky design is real simple. It's just one stone at the base. My ring finger is a small stone at the base. On top of that is a little bit of a larger stone. And then on top of that, I went back to the small stone. And you do wanna be careful because um, the stones can slide around. So you wanna make sure that you put them on kind of steady and then get them right underneath the light so that they can cure. The middle fingers will have a larger stone in the middle. And then on either side of them, a smaller stone. And then either side of those, another smaller stone than what I previously put on there. Um, so just from the middle to the outer edges, consecutively smaller stones. And then um, it's just lining the cuticle area from sidewall to sidewall. On my first finger, I'm doing the same design that I did on the ring finger. So a small stone followed by a larger stone, small, followed, followed by a um, small stone. And then on my thumbs, um, I'm just doing one simple large stone like I did on the pinky. And that is it for this set of nails. Um, I really like the way that this set came out. I really like the shape, um, the stones, everything. Just, I really like this set. This is probably the set that I'm actually going to wear on Thanksgiving. Um, but here are both sets completed. Um, I really enjoyed making these press on nails. I have worn press on nails out already. I wore a black set with stones on them. Um, I wore them with the sticky tabs and just so you know the sticky tabs do work really well if you prep your nails first so if you um, buff your nail and then make sure that there's no um, oils or anything on your nail and then use the sticky tabs they do work pretty good for like a few hours if you want to wear them just to go out or something like that um, but for Thanksgiving I'm probably gonna attempt using some glue and then I'm gonna see if I can remove my nails safely without using acetone so that I can reuse them so we'll work that out and then I will let you guys know the results thank you guys for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one